Hello, welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. Yesterday was super tough. We had a Ukraine round and a Russia round in the same day. That'll kill anybody's game. Alright, this one looks like Turkey right off the bat. We have, yeah, some signs pointing towards towns that are off in the distance on the side of the road with that type of text. I mean, it's very, very Turkish. This is good. We have a sign pointing towards Antalya which is here it's a big city so easy enough to find um so tefeni is ideally what we find here um because of that is going to answer which direction we are obviously tefeni now we could be a good distance away you know could be like this much down the highway or this much so I don't want to go too crazy with the zooms however I kind of do need to have a better idea than I do right now obviously um anyway let's look at this this is good ah Karamanli which is what we had just seen which is that other place I don't think I would was thinking that I would find it. I was like, that's probably too small. Um, but this is good. The D330 is to look for. It's right here, the D330. It comes off of everything and it goes towards Yesilova and then Burdur, probably, and then Ankara, finally, the D330 uh, over here. So I guess. That's what it's referring to. Um, or we could be over here. Hmm. This is strange. This is such a weird round. Because um, I really, really, really am having a tough time figuring out where I am. To be honest, com completely honest with you guys. Um, Karamanli is the road is is like what's off the road i think we're on the d330 yesilova is gonna be our closest place so maybe we just look for it here i'm gonna place a little closer this direction yesilkoi that sounds similar um and then isparta is the other side of it um, and then Karamanli, yeah, tough round, I, pff, Turkey, am I right? It's so confusing, at least we know what region we're in, we're not going to lose too many points, and we were up here actually next to this lake, the D330, past Isparta, um, Yesilkoi, oh no, 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 that's, sorry, that's not where we were, we were actually down here, there's Karamanli, uh, it's actually very visible from a distance, Interesting, but yeah, the D330 does extend past Isparta. I had no idea about this. I actually thought it ended there. So that's why I didn't even look at this part of things. Um, Burdur, I would have seen it. Um, yeah, so not my best work, but not my worst ever. That's Sri Lankan, right off the bat. If you see Sri Lankan, you see the little Among Us guy uh, over there, this one. Um, it, it, you know, it's this one, isn't it? I don't know. Um, yeah, Sri Lanka cool also uh the car has the french flag across it blurred out okay so where are we um ooh, sri lanka is one of those countries that usually has really good signs that tell you exactly where you are uh eighth gala seems to be the name and katana seems to be something as well could be a region or could be a major city um have a sip of coffee I'm, i need my coffee here While I'm scanning for katana. Not seeing it yet. Um, now we look at the region names. If possible. Yeah. Northwestern. West. Okay. So they're, they're direction based names. Uh, we need a little more information then. I guess. Um, katana. 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 Ithgala. Katana. Is obviously where we are. Part of me wants to say let's dedicate the rest of this round to scanning. 
and it is kind of a strong feeling because every sign says katana. We have to do it. We have to do it. Uh, let's do a scan at this level. Nothing. This is the hard part now because when we zoom in, there's so many more names. Um... Going around the outside first. Katan Kudi. Let's just play something in the center for now. Please show me Katana. tough it's very flat let's keep in mind it seems to be flat up here so let's move it into this area uh could be northern as well i believe katana just couldn't find it so i guess let's find out where we were um okay super super close to negombo over here if we look yeah and there's katana it's super small uh we couldn't see it at the distance that I was zoomed there so I was doomed there all right 180 points lost not too bad okay next up central southern Europe Spalkins it feels like uh, these red roofs uh, anywhere along the Balkans probably well that says D on it don't exactly know what that's gonna be but we have blue we don't have blue on both sides so it doesn't indicate Albania could be Croatia here could be even Slovenia could be Macedonia could be Montenegro um, we don't know so Al Limeneke Papir so paper um, Al Limeneke I, I don't know if that's something to take into account yet Konik City Hmm, hard discount. Lakovic. Montenegro. Yay, there's the flag and there's a rift. I should have looked at the sky. So, um, where? I'm going to put it Podgorica put right now, but we do have the name here. Kono Konik City. Ugh, I doubt I find this, but it's kind of worth a look because it's such a small country. Konik. I'm going to put it like up here for now. Something tells me that's not the official name. Um, hmm. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do in this situation? We have a minute left. Um, probably some sort of official signs pointing towards. Well, this is Pogoritsa. So at least they're from the capital. Sorry, that was a hiccup burp combination. Disgusting. Um. Not seen a Konik city. I was hoping maybe I would find it, but uh, let's put it in Pokoritsa for now um, and hope to find some information to either confirm or deny that so I can move accordingly. I I'm not going to lose too many points either way, but it's nice. Oh, this is Pokoritska as well. Gradsky Sobrosai or something like that. Don't have time to look back at it. Gradsky Sob. That's what we're looking for. Um, I don't know. Maybe we're just in downtown Podgorica. It could be because of the fact that it's so small. So if it looks this small, it could be just this small. Who knows? Uh, yeah, let's leave it here and see. Yeah, it literally was. It was eastern um, 
Podgorica, and that's all I have to say about that. All right, this is white car, very interesting white car. Uh, we're driving on the left, kind of looks like Rwanda. I mean, we have that Rwandan coverage, but also not because Rwanda tends, I think, to just be in that one city, the main city, the capital city, one might call it. Um, let's see if we can read some of the signs. This is going to be Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, one of these. Because uh, they all drive on the left and they all have pretty red dirt. Um, R-A-U. Uh, Kampala, yeah, so Uganda, there you go. Um, it's the red dirt for me in this eastern portion um, of Africa, East Africa, one might call it. Um, tends to have very, very red dirt. Um, so. Buloba Teachers College. I wonder if that's in reference to a region of Kampala. One thing that's interesting is we do seem to be outskirts. Maybe there's more city to the north or east. I'm going to head east actually from spawn just to see kind of what pops up this direction. So we know where to put ourselves. Uh, we might not be uh, directly in Kampala. Probably we aren't, I would think. Um, but we're in Eastern, I think. We gotta be pretty Eastern. Because there's not much going on, you know, northeast of where we are, as far as I can tell. There's like little houses like along the road, but... Uh, nothing that I would call a city, right? Where, well, now there's this. This is a town, a full town. So what do I know? Um, hmm. <laughs> it's really all about figuring out exactly where to put it when you're in a big city. Kind of, you know, maximize your your points on, on something like this. Uh, I see Midiana Road. So, first thing I'm going to do is look for a Mityana. Um, if I can't find that, then I will just look at some major roads. Like this one, for for one. Kampala Highway, of course. Um, tough. Uh, let's just put one, I don't know. I kind of want to just, I'm just going to hedge the center of the city so that we kind of cover everything, you know. Midiana. Yeah, okay, so we were actually super west, not even at the city yet. Uh, we were just in the outskirts towns. And there's Biloba, actually. So, like I was questioning, is that actually, you know, a, a region or something of the city? It kind of is. It's a town outside of it. All right, 45 points lost. Not too bad. We have some Spanish immediately here. Um... Puerto Rico. This says Universal Technology College, Puerto Rico. So that's good. Uh, what else do we have available to us right off the bat here? Um, so much to look at, right? So, so much. Health department over there. Um, probably just going to be San Juan, but it's good to be sure, uh, of course. Part. Ooh, Aguadilla Moca is probably two districts or something that this guy is the uh, representative for. So if we see Aguadilla somewhere, that could help. Uh, let's take a look for it. I think that's a good way to go. Um, so many little names, though. It could be a little bit tough. Oof. Oh, my goodness. How do you guys even keep track of all this? It's a lot to look at. Um, could also be a different city or region. Doesn't have to be San Juan. Uh, so let's put one guest down. Aguadilla. So we see all the names of the different... Aha! Aguadilla Moca is out here. So we might actually be... Well... What is the most built-up place out here in these two? 
Aguada. I think the one that I'm in, that I put my guest down in, is probably the most likely. This is a pretty decently sized city where we are. Much bigger than some of those little looking towns. They look like little towns there that I was looking at. Um, and here's a main road. So, aha, we have water directly to our west. This is good information. We have 40 Aguadilla City. There you go. Um, so that's what it was. Aguadilla Pueblo, Aguadilla City. Right here is, is, is where we are. Um, so the 440 is this highway, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Um, so where did we start? I guess somewhere a little bit inland. Um, there was like the health office or something like that. Uh, that we saw. At the start. It's got to be in here. We, we should be able to 5k this if we just get... The street, uh, but we're kind of out of time, no? We are kind of out of time. So let's just put it in here and just hope. Ah, a little bit south, a little bit south. Uh, department here, I should have known, put it one department near the others. Because this is like obviously a government area. Um, but not bad, three points lost and a good, good game today. 24,363 is going to be our final score. Really only losing points in Turkey. Where I kind of fell apart. And look, they changed the official name on the map here. Turkia or something like that. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But uh, cool. They updated the map. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it. Let's see where I ended up. Out of 500 people, 14th place. Not bad at all. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for daily GeoGuessr videos. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on today's daily. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.